The Bachelorette's Jed Wyatt, one of Hannah Brown's finalists for her hand in marriage, has proven to be full of surprises. And his presence has sparked dozens of questions. Did he join The Bachelorette for his career? Is it true that he had a girlfriend back home? Here's Jed Wyatt's untold truth. Warning, spoilers ahead. If it wasn't already obvious from looking at the guy, Wyatt has a pretty good gym regimen. His physique, something he shows off quite often on his Instagram page, is arguably quite impressive, with his visible six-pack, bulging biceps, and rippling quads. No wonder Brown found him to be so dreamy. Before Wyatt was competing for a chance to become Brown's main squeeze on The Bachelorette, however, he appeared to consider fitness to be more than just a hobby. It seems like he was a diet and exercise professional, according to a post on his Facebook page featuring a text from a client, which he captioned, "...it makes me so happy to see people getting results from my diet and workout plans." Wyatt also shared a post on his Instagram page offering dietary advice. Speaking of side hustles, it looks like being a fitness coach wasn't the only thing Wyatt did in order to pay the rent. According to several posts on Instagram, he's pulled a magic mic on more than one occasion, taking off at least his shirt for some appreciating audiences. Apparently, Wyatt was moonlighting at the Music City Mail Review, a burlesque performance troupe located in the heart of Nashville. It's the only PG-21 show featuring men in the Nashville area, and the business's website boasts that it's the kind of place you can take your soon-to-be mother-in-law and not feel totally weird. From the second viewers of The Bachelorette were introduced to Wyatt, they learned just how important his musical ambitions are to him, and he never missed a chance to serenade Hannah Brown, something she was obviously charmed by. But given how Wyatt prioritizes his music career over pretty much everything else in life, it's a little odd that he's put almost no work into his YouTube channel. With only two videos, both featuring the same song, and just around 330 subscribers as of July 2019, the channel's certainly not going to be his ticket to fame and fortune. But perhaps Wyatt's original motivation for going on The Bachelorette, to bolster his growing career, will pay off for him in the end, as he does have over 386,000 followers on Instagram as of July 2019. One thing you can't miss when you scroll through Wyatt's Instagram page is the fact that he really, really loves animals. Alongside a pic with an adorable puppy, he wrote in a 2017 post, "'You will not see me happier, ever.'" In January 2019, The Bachelorette star posed in a picture with a golden retriever named Basil, and in the same post, he included a video of a puppy. He's posted multiple pictures and videos hanging out with all kinds of different pooches. But in case you think he's exclusively a dog person, he's also posted several pictures of himself with cats, a photo of himself hanging out with a monkey, and at one point, he even had a ferret. On the heels of Wyatt's admission that his original motivations for going on The Bachelorette were to advance his music career, people were understandably a bit shocked. After all, when the endgame is literally marriage, you would think the contestants would take the show pretty seriously. But Wyatt also confessed that he was falling for Brown and that he'd never felt quite like this before, which of course caused her to swoon. Even though Wyatt did see the show as a huge platform initially, he said in an interview with Extra TV that some part of him was ready for marriage, with the right person of course. Yeah. I know it's early days, but can you imagine marrying Hannah? You know, you kind of have to come into this ready for that step. As for Brown, Wyatt didn't hesitate when he was asked if she was the one. She is definitely the kind of person I could see myself with forever. Can you imagine? I mean, it's not that long from now getting down on one knee. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. So while some may question his motivations, he may be genuinely into her. I also didn't expect to catch this many feel feelings off the bat, mm. so I'm excited to see where it all goes." When Brown finally got the opportunity to meet Wyatt's family, it was very clear that they're very protective of him and they're extremely close-knit. And while it's easy to wonder how much is actually real on reality shows, the family relationship does appear to be the real deal. In a 2016 post on his Instagram page, Wyatt wrote, "...my family means the world to me. It's funny how two years ago I wouldn't have wanted to go anywhere near home for spring break, but now I miss it more than ever and wouldn't have wanted to spend spring break anywhere else." That was long before he was even being considered for The Bachelorette. Wyatt also had advice for his Instagram followers, saying, "...don't take for granted your time with your loved ones. I promise you will miss it." Arguably one of the most cringeworthy moments on the 15th season of The Bachelorette was that hometown visit with the Wyatt family. From the looks of it, mom, dad, and sis were lukewarm at best about Wyatt's increasingly serious romance with The Bachelorette. Their faces kind of said it all. But there were also some direct statements from family members expressing their concern. 
For one, when Wyatt raised the topic of getting engaged, his mother Gina had a terse response. I think this is crazy. Oh. Like she asked me upstairs if I thought prior to this, would you be ready to be engaged? And I said no. Not exactly a ringing endorsement. Jed's sister Lily had an equally tepid reaction for Brown. Making the music makes him so happy, and honestly, like him potentially falling in love with you, I'm like, and not sure that it's a good thing. Ouch. As most people know, the hometown episodes of The Bachelorette air on TV long after those conversations have actually taken place. So when the amazingly awkward hometown episode with the Wyatt family aired, Wyatt's sister Lily took to Instagram to set the record straight, writing in a story, They made me look so mean. I swear, y'all, our conversation went way better than this. Brown also shared a clarifying post on Instagram expressing nothing but gratitude to the families who hosted her. She wrote, To the Webbers, Camerons, Parkers, and Wyatts, thank you for opening your home and supporting your son and me and opening our hearts to each other. I'm sure it's really bizarre watching, but the moments in your home were real, taken seriously, and so very special to me. Easily the biggest controversy of season 15 of The Bachelorette broke when the revelation surfaced that Wyatt had been dating a woman named Haley Stevens back home, and that they allegedly didn't break up before he filmed the show. Speaking to Us Weekly, Stevens claimed they agreed to resume their relationship when he got home. She admitted, Even though that's not an ideal situation for our current relationship, when you're not in it, it seems like a movie. It seems like it's just a TV show. You don't necessarily think about the fact that hearts are going to get involved. There are going to be feelings involved. But once the details of Wyatt and Brown's steamy romance began to go public, Stevens got more and more upset. The fact that Wyatt reportedly didn't call her for two weeks after he got home from filming didn't help, so she said she ignored his call since she felt their alleged relationship was over. This, this is embarrassing. Why did I, like, how could I let myself be here? Like, how can I have let myself believe this? She added that she has nothing but respect for Brown and wishes her the best. Unsurprisingly, the internet got really angry when it learned that Wyatt reportedly had a girlfriend back home, and that he'd been less than forthcoming about it. It's also particularly bad that he came clean about the truth of his original intentions, to get exposure for his music career, but neglected to tell Brown about his alleged girlfriend. But the fallout has far exceeded people dogpiling on Wyatt's social media pages. He wrote in a post on his Instagram page, It goes beyond what is said online. Threatening letters and phone calls have been sent to our homes. My parents and sister are being verbally attacked in public. I beg you to remember what seems like a harmless action is damaging to real people." Wyatt assured followers that there would soon be answers, and he asked for people to be patient until then. He wrote, "...I ask that you please understand how much the actions being taken towards myself, my family, the men on the show, and above all, Hannah, are affecting all of our mental and physical health." Season 23 Bachelor Colton Underwood has been watching the 15th season of The Bachelorette, and as you would expect, he has some pretty strong opinions about what's gone down and what Wyatt's fate should be. He shouldn't come back from this night, he should just sort of go away. Underwood added that he can relate to Hannah since he's been in the same position. You sort of have these blinders on and you, you're sort of dialed in and focused on the relationship and you don't take in sort of the cues that sometimes you should in regular relationships or the red flags. If anyone understands Brown's circumstances, it's Underwood, and he's definitely concerned for her happiness. I feel for her because she's so deserving of somebody who is going to make her happy day in and day out and not have to worry about lying. There are plenty of fans of The Bachelorette who don't want to know anything about the show beforehand so that everything that happens on the show is a total surprise. So heads up, huge spoiler ahead. In a post on his website published on May 20th, 2019, blogger Reality Steve revealed his prediction for the season 15 winner of The Bachelorette. After a finale that reportedly came down to Jed Wyatt and Tyler Cameron, Brown is said to have selected Cameron to be her forever guy, and the two of them reportedly got engaged. But less than a month later, in a post published on June 18th, 2019, Steve backpedaled on his earlier prediction and issued a new one. Brown allegedly gave her heart to Wyatt, and Wyatt put a ring on her finger. So the big question remains, what will Brown do now that she's discovered Wyatt allegedly had a girlfriend back home? According to Reality Steve, she hasn't exactly taken a stand-by-your-man approach, but she hasn't run screaming for the hills either. He wrote in a post on his Twitter page in June 2019, I can confirm that Hannah broke off her engagement to Jed earlier this week. They are still together, but the engagement is off. This isn't a don't ever talk to me again from what I'm being told, but it's also not all rainbows and daffodils either. 
Steve went on to add his own commentary on these revelations, saying, To end an engagement means Hannah has been bothered enough by what's come out. I don't see how Jed gets back in her good graces after this, nor should he. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.